do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, and in this tutorial, this is actually part two of the Dreamcast modding series where I show you from start to finish how to play your games off an SD card with your Dreamcast. Yes, you gotta buy an SD card adapter. If you don't have that, then maybe don't bother watching the rest of this tutorial. But if you can get it, great. And I'm using an 8GB Class 4 SD card, and that's what I'm using. It works out fine. So first thing is, make sure you have a Dreamcast that's made on uh, July or August or September before year 2000 because those are models that are guaranteed to work with backed up games if your model is made after October 2000 for example you might have some luck just try it okay so let's assume that you have a working Dreamcast what you need is what is called a dream shell if you go to dc-swat.ru click on the dream shell link here download the latest version it's actually 4.0 RC1 and it's a CDI image now you can burn it with whatever program you use I recommend to use disk juggler if you want to learn how to burn a Dreamcast game if you go to the VST power channel and on the right hand side there's Dreamcast modding tutorials and then on the left hand side there are some videos I've done already the first uh, video is how to properly burn games with Dreamcast watch that and you're good to go and another note is um, if there's for some reason your game you can't copy it today because your game is scratched or you lost your game if you go to dcisozone.com on the left hand side you have links to not only the Dreamcast SD ISO version but also the original Dreamcast ISO so you can download those and make your own copies if you desire so that's just another tool to keep in your pocket but today's emphasis is how to make your own um, SD game versions if you go into the more info section, I do have a link to where you can download the Make ISO program. So this is what it looks like after you extract it. Pretty simple stuff. So what you do is like, for example, you go into your um, DVD drive that you inserted the games. So I inserted a Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Select all, press Control C to copy. And then what you do is you dump the contents into this CD folder. And I already did that today. So here's all my files right here. Well, actually, let me just do it again. Just for clarity's sake. So what you do is you, let's see, oh, that's fine. So it's going to dump into the folder again. Now, while I was in the process of dumping, there's these three .bat files. I'm only familiar with these two because that's just based upon the instructions that I've read online. For what I understand, if you have a backed up game that is self-bootable, meaning that you insert into the Dreamcast and just boots by itself without using a Utopia boot disk, then you're supposed to do a hack LBA first and then you create the Katana ISO second. If you have a game that is not self-bootable, meaning that you need to use a Utopia disk first, then what you do is you're supposed to click on this create Katana ISO.bat only. Now what's interesting is is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I've done both methods and the game still boots fine. Now I tried a different game like Power Stone. I did both methods and the game it just shows a black screen. So that game is not compatible I guess. Oh well. But the I guess what I'm trying to say is just try both methods. It doesn't hurt to try both. What you do is how you do it is first, oh, let me finish this game. It's almost done copying. What happens is when you do the hack lba.bat, it's going to modify the first, uh, I think it's called the first read.bin file, and then you use the katana file, uh, katana bat, to create your ISO. Or if, if you don't do that method, you could do create katana and it makes the ISO automatically. It'll make more sense in the uh, next second here. Okay, so let's assume you just copied over all your game files to that CD folder. So let's do the first one first. Create Katana ISO. You double click on it. It automatically goes through this command prompt and boom, it's done. It creates an image.iso. So let's rename that as MVC2 underscore um, Katana as an example. Okay, and we go back to the CD. We see that the first read.bin still has this 226 2000 date. So now let's go back and say hack LBA. It does this thing, create katana.iso. Now it's making a new ISO and it's already modified. And we call this MVC2 underscore, let's say hack underscore LBA, just so I know. And we go back to CD, we see that the first read.bin is modified to today's date, October 7, 2012. So what you do next is you basically take these two ISO files, copy and paste it to your SD card. My SD card is format as FAT32. I don't have the SD card plugged into my computer right now because I don't want to walk over to Dreamcast, but to save some time, just take your ISO files, ISO or ISOs files, and copy it over to your SD card, and then that's it. So with that said, let's start straight into the second half of this tutorial where I show you real life footage of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 working on the Dreamcast. It's going to be a lot of good times. Let's do this. Alright, so here's part two of the video. What I've done to help save some time is I took the Dream Shell disc, I put it inside the Dreamcast, turned on the Dreamcast, it automatically booted into this program. So it took about 30 seconds to a minute, so that's where I'm at right now. So here's the main menu. 
And this is what I use. You know, you guys can go ahead and do whatever you want, but I always like to use the file manager. And to move them around, you can, you can use this joystick here, or you can use the arrow keys, but I like to use the joystick. So let's go down to file manager at the bottom, press A. Now my uh, TV is a little bit weird, but on your TV, you might see everything nice and clear, but on this one, some of the words are cut off at the very top, but at least, at least if you know what you're doing, you should be okay, no matter what type of TV you're using. Okay, so what I do is I go to SD, it's at the very top here, press A like one or two times, and it just lists uh, the files on your SD card, and just to note, my SD card is formatted as FAT32, I don't know if it really understands or how to use NTFS, so use FAT32, and I have an uh, 8 gigabyte SD card, class uh, 4. Okay, so let's go to like MVC2 Katana that I made uh, a while back, like so, press A on it. And then go down to run ISO image and press uh, A on this too. Come on. Or you can use the arrow keys as well. Ah, oh, there we go. And then how do you know if your game is working? If it shows like this, and then if it... Hold on. It should say something else. Loading. And then if it gets stuck at this black screen, that means your game is not compatible. But here we see it automatically loaded into my game. So this is a really good sign. And for those guys that did not see part one, let me just go through uh, this particular game because I know this game works out fine. We just saw there was a little bit of lag right there. Let me increase the volume a bit. See that? It was just lag right there. You see the sound is a little bit jerky too. So let's go to arcade mode. Let's go ahead and select some quick characters here. You see that? There was a little bit of lag there. I know. But if you play it off a of, of CD, of course it's going to be much more smooth. But let's get to the real gameplay in a second here. And I'll show you that here is not an issue. I don't know why the music just sort of dies there, I have no idea. I'm a member of stars. I'm oh, I missed that. But anyways, we can clearly see that the game works out fine. Like I said, just do um, trial and error with your game, see which games work and which don't, don't on your um, Dreamcast. And that's about it. If you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.